Hello, welcome back. I haven't done a favorites video in so long and I have a lot of new faves. Well, faves that I've been using since I last did a favorites video and I thought we were just way overdue to talk about some things I've been loving. Let's start off with skincare. I haven't been able to like dabble in any skincare in so long because I was dealing with my dermatitis which thankfully cleared up from two rounds of oral antibiotics. That was a nightmare, but it is long gone now, hopefully for good, but we'll see. So for the longest time, I was just doing my Cetaphil cleanser and um, Vanna Cream moisturizer, and that was just it. Um, but since it's been gone for like over a month now, I've been kind of dipping my toe back in. And so these two products, I've been shockingly super into. So Dr. Dennis Gross sent me um, like a cleanser, moisturizer, and these peel pads. And I'll be honest, I wasn't really planning on trying them. Because let me paint you a little picture. Between like 2012 and 2014, these peel pads had me in an absolute chokehold, okay? I worked at Nordstrom in the cosmetics department and all of us were just absolutely obsessed with their peel pads, especially the extra strength ones. We recommended them to everybody. We all used them ourselves. I was obsessed with them, but I would like, I was using the extra strength ones. I was using them all the time. Like I was still like very much under the impression that I was like, more is better. Just exfoliate, get rid of the skin, which obviously too much exfoliation can be bad. So, you know, I moved to LA, my skin ended up becoming more dry and I just stopped using them and I started exfoliating with other things. When these showed up, I was like, I can't go back. I've moved on. But then I realized these were the extra gentle formula. I'm like, hmm. The extra strength ones were good, but I just remember them being like really astringent, like kind of drying and I'm just like, they wouldn't work for my skin now. Because I haven't been able to like really do much with my skin, even though the everything cleared up, I was so congested. Like I saw like all the dead skin on my chin, all the blackheads, like just clogged pores, all of that. And so I was like, you know what, I'll give them a try. Maybe this will be like, just kind of dip my toe back into the exfoliation world. I decided to be super risky and use a new moisture. So I'm like, I usually when I try a new product, I'll do one at a time because you're like, if something goes wrong, you need to be able to know like what it was. And my skin's been super reactive lately since the since the rash cleared cleared up. So like certain things have been giving me like breakouts on my cheeks, which never happened to me before. So it's just been a little bit of a learning curve. Um, so I decided to something dared me to try both of these at once. And oh my God, much to my surprise, I love them. These gentle peel pads, I've only used two so far. They're great. They didn't burn, they didn't irritate my skin. They just gently exfoliated. It's a two step process. So you got step one, step two. I loved them. It didn't dry out my skin like some other like exfoliating serums and masks do. I just, love it and it's literally for dehydrated or sensitive skin and i'm like okay that's literally me so love this and now i've been using this moisturizer for like over a week i swear to god my skin is so clear and glowy my embryo lease for years 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 has been my go-to moisturizer it's always the one i go back to i even went back to it you know once my rash cleared up but I don't know, I was just like, you know, it's here, I have it, let me just try it. And I love it, it's just like a daily moisturizer. It's really kind of like, it feels like almost like a gel cream. Like it feels really light, but it's super emollient and dewy. I was afraid it wouldn't be like enough hydration for me, because like I said, I'm really dehydrated and I like that like thick embryo lease. But this has not been an issue. Now it has been warmer here lately, so I'm like, maybe it won't be enough in the winter, you know, but that's a problem for later. But so far, just especially these two together, super, super, super impressed. Okay, I have one body product here and it is Dove. Dove Original Beauty Bar, okay? So I kind of alternate between like bar soap and the Necessaire Body Wash. Those are like the two that like just always are in my shower. 
and it just kind of depends on my mood like do I want to do body wash with a loofah or I do I just want to take a bar of soap and scrub it all over my body because you know there's a time and the place and I do have like I've like collected over time like a lot of like fancy soaps like handmade soaps like well I'll go somewhere in like a little boutique and I'll see a soap and I'll buy it so I just have like a stash recently I was just at the grocery store and I was like you know what let me let me pick up a pack of Dove just tried and true and every time I stop using Dove and then I go back to it, I'm like, why did I ever stop? There's nothing better than the smell of a Dove bar soap. It just smells like when you come out of the shower, even when it's like in the soap dish, unused, you can smell it. Like it just smells like the epitome of fresh and clean. Like it's just soap. Like if you were to just think of what soap smells like, this is what it smells like. And it's so good and what i love about it is that it like really lathers up i feel really clean afterwards but it doesn't leave your skin tight and dry which bar soaps love to leave your skin tight and dry and so there's just specific soaps i'm very like particular about that like if it leaves my skin like squeaky clean and dry i will never use it again but dove never lets me down okay i've got one hair product and that's by kerastase i've always heard good things about Kerastase but I've never really tried it and then um, they sent me a few products of their line and so I was like okay I'll try them out and I ended up using I forget exactly the name but I'll put it right here but they sent me their shampoo conditioner and mask and I've used them all up and I loved them I really really loved them and I would definitely repurchase them the star product I will say has been this this is their elixir it's a hair oil, but now my hair tends to be pretty dry because I have a lot of it and it's wavy. So it just lacks a little bit of moisture, but I also have fine hair. So it can be really easily weighed down and oils and things like that tend to weigh it down very easily and make it look greasy. This, I don't know what they do to it, but this does not make my hair look greasy. It's so rare that an oil does not make my hair look greasy i would say this and the ghost oil by verb are the two, only two that i've found so far that have left my hair like really nice and silky without looking weighed down or greasy and i only use the tiniest bit like i've been using this for like months and it's only down to here so highly recommend i love it you get so much product it's definitely pricey but it would last you a long time okay so then i have two products from Violette FR, their perfume and lipstick. I ended up buying this myself. Um, this is their Bisu Balm in the shade Batiste and I'm wearing it now. I'm not a lipstick person. I'm either like a gloss or a sheer balm. And I saw this lipstick um, advertised and it just looked perfect. So like it looks like a full on lipstick but it is like a sheer balm and it's like kind of matte it's hard to explain like it's not super glossy i have a lip balm on underneath it so it's making it look a little bit more emollient but it just looked completely up my alley and so i was like i need to try this and i ordered it and i actually showed my first impression in a tiktok and i fell in love with this and it kind of like went viral and so then viola fr the company i don't know if it was actually her but um reached out and sent me like a few other things and one of them being this perfume now i saw this perfume on the website and i thought it looked beautiful because the packaging is just really nice and like it has this beautiful like etched um you know design into it but when i read the um the notes it just didn't really seem like something i would be into so i skipped it but when they send it i was like okay interesting i can try it i am obsessed with this perfume i've used so much of it already and it's only been like a month it's like a roll-on oil it just smells like the epitome of like summer vacation i literally put it everywhere on my body all the time and it just smells so good and it's just addicting and it's been like my favorite summer scent okay the rest of the products are makeup um, this is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. I'm in the shade Melrose. I've, I love Tower 28. It's just exactly like my type of makeup, like that kind of sheer, glowy, natural, apply with your fingers kind of, kind of makeup is just so my, my vibe. Um, 
And so when they came out with this, I had been like super, super curious about it. And finally I just like bit the bullet and I was like, you know what? Can't hurt to have another sunscreen in my repertoire. <laughs> um, so I got it and I've literally been using it every single day um, as my sunscreen and as my foundation. And yet, because I'm using it as my sunscreen, I'm using like quite a bit to get that like full SPF value. And it never feels like too heavy or cakey or greasy. It just is like a nice radiant finish without feeling like too heavy. And it's got like a sheer coverage, but it does like a good job, like kind of knocking out, like it's got like a true tinted moisturizer kind of coverage. Like it's, it's sheer, but it's not like non-existent. You know what I mean? Um, so I absolutely love this. Now this concealer has been a fave for months and I've definitely like used it on my channel and I've used it on TikTok and all of that, but I've never, I don't think I've officially like had it in a favorites video, but the Armani concealer, I did not, this is another product that I did not expect to like because I don't know, I'm just very particular with concealers. I don't like when they're too full coverage. I don't like when they're too matte because I just feel like it looks cakey under the eyes. I really love like a sheer natural look with makeup and so I feel like doing a tinted moisturizer and then a full on concealer can just look a bit odd. So when I think of Armani, I think of like full coverage, like full on makeup and so this showed up in my mailbox and I was like, you know, you're like Armani, okay. But I didn't have high hopes. I thought this will probably be good, but it won't be good for me. Absolutely wrong. This is my favorite concealer. I don't like when this runs out, I will absolutely buy this. I don't even know how much it is and I do not care. I love it. I literally do two dots under each eye. I would say it's not like a full, full coverage. It's like a medium coverage, but it really covers everything, but it never looks like you're wearing like a heavy concealer and it does not crease. Sometimes I powder it, sometimes I don't. Um, you know, every concealer is going to crease a tiny bit. We have lines under our eyes, that's just a fact. Um, but if you can see, I'll come up real close and I haven't powdered it and I've had it on for hours and you can see it just like just the tiny little that you can just kind of tap away. When I do powder it with the Kosas Cloud Powder, it doesn't do that at all. But sometimes I'm just not in the mood for a powder, powder look. But this just like, it stays on, it doesn't crease, it never looks cakey. I just love it so, so much. I'm in the shade 4.75 and I think that's perfect for me. It's not too light, not too dark. Um, I just love it. These products, I was completely late to the game with Rare Beauty, I'll admit it, because sometimes like when you see, I feel this way about a celebrity or an influencer makeup line, like I always just kick back and wait and I'm like, is it people are talking about it because they're fans or are they talking about it because it's actually good? So sometimes like you're just not sure and so I just always kind of sit back and just wait um, and see like what people are saying and people are just absolutely loving Rare Beauty. So I had picked up, this was the only thing I purchased from them for the longest time. It's their, their, their liquid blush. This is in the shade Joy and I'll be honest, I did not like it. <laughs> I, it made me write off the brand in general because I was like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't like it. Even though the whole like vibe of the brand is completely something I'd be into, this blush just kind of turned me off. I'm like, it's so pigmented, which is a weird problem to have because normally like you want it to be pigmented. You want to get your money's worth, but it was so pigmented that I like didn't know how to work with it. I didn't know how to wear it. I was like, I was applying it like I would any other liquid blush. And I was like, this is so hard to work with. I had watched some People use it on TikTok, and I saw that they were just doing literally the tiniest dot. And I was like, you know what? Let me give it another chance. Weeks later, I dug it back out. I love it, okay? I had a complete change of heart to the point where this is the one I reach for all the time. It made me want to try more Rare Beauty. So I ordered their tinted moisturizer, um, and I haven't used it yet, so I can't I can't speak on that yet, but I will let you know. And I ordered another one of their blushes, and I'm wearing that today. This is the shade Lucky, and I think I even need to use 
even less of this one because it's just a bright fuchsia pink but i really love like a bright baby doll pink blush and so i thought this would be perfect i just can't these have to last forever like i don't feel like i'll ever run out of these with how little you use um but they're my absolute new favorite i love it i tried to get the highlighter as well but it was sold out um almost all of the blush shades were sold out as well and now i want all of them so complete change of heart with rare beauty um okay and the last thing on my list is again another influencer brand that i didn't want to believe the hype for and that was one size um again i just kind of sat back and was like i don't need anything i don't know then nothing was really catching my eye and um you know i got microblading a couple years ago you're supposed to get it touched up every year but because of covid i wasn't able to and now my microblading is pretty much all worn off and now i'm back to having to fill in my brows which kind of sucks but it's been like a little novel you know getting back to my roots and um so i've been trying some old like i had my anastasia pencils that i used to use i wasn't really impressed with them anymore i got the benefit pencil that everybody raves about and i did not like it it was just a little too heavy to me like i tried to make it work it was just too pigmented for me i like my brows to look a little bit softer than that and so i was at sephora grabbing something else i don't even remember and i was i saw this little um one size it's called the brow kiki micro brow defining pencil in medium brown and i was like that looks like something i would like it's like super fine i tried it on my hand and i was like okay it looks pigmented but not like starkly pigmented i love this i mean it's like how much can you like rave about an eyebrow pencil it's not like changing lives but it's like everything i would want in an eyebrow pencil this has the color is perfect the fine point is perfect it stays on long it has the spoolie on the end it's just perfect it's my perfect brow pencil and so it's my favorite okay so those are all my faves so good to get those off my chest i've been gatekeeping for so long from you guys yeah let me know what you guys have been loving lately if there's anything else from any of these brands that i love that i absolutely have to try you know twist my arm i could be convinced um i'll see you in my next video